Hey everyone, I'm the Taylorette, and as most of you know, I just finished my Austrian dirndl. However, I do want to put trim on my dress, so I'm not going to purchase it, but I'm going to make it myself. I'm having a hard time deciding whether I want to do the trim the same material as the dress or do it in this color. So just to test it out, I think I will actually cut a strip off of this and we can kind of test it up against the bodice. Here's the strip. It'll probably be about that wide. It'll be like that color. You don't know until the trim is made. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think it'll add to that little peasant feel that I'm going for. I changed my mind. We're doing it in this material instead of the red. So they say that you should cut the trim on the bias. So I think I will do that just to add a little bit of interest to the trim. Bias means like this. Cutting on the bias. Cut it diagonally with the fabric. So I'm gonna cut it at two inches because I wanna fold over both sides a half an inch to make it one inch total because I don't want the trim to be too big. And then checking to make sure my two inch strip is actually long enough. So now we'll press it half inch on both side, guesstimating about a half an inch. And do it to the other side as well. That way we have clean edges on the sides. And we have our strip. I will go back and press it from the top side. This is the top side of the trim. So I'm going based on the instructions from this Austrian dirndl from Folkwear. And they give me the instructions on how to do this technique. I don't know how to say it, but it stands, it means heart ruching, however you pronounce that. So after I reviewed the instructions from the pattern, I saw that there's a lot of hand stitching involved in this trim, but I'll take you step by step on how I do it. Basically, you flip your bias tape over and you take, you go through here. I knotted the end of this thread. Go evenly across like this. So you have both edges, just the tip of the edges like that. And you pull it through and you'll want to secure it like this. Do two stitches in there and it'll kind of look like like that. And then the next part is you will go about a half an inch away from here, about a half an inch. I'm sure you could do it different if you want at a different length. Go in the center, I'm grabbing the center all the way through, pulling that through, hold it over here, pull the thread all the way through, and then you're going to secure it all the way back to this stitch here where you started and basically bring those together permanently. So it'll kind of look like that when you bring both of them together. Okay, so now that we have that first part done, we're gonna go about ooh, from here to here. So that's about a half inch-ish. And I'm gonna go through the edge just like we did in the beginning. I don't want to pull it too tight because I don't wanna bring this over here. So I'm going to just pull it lightly because we're basically just repositioning where the thread is. And I'm going to do a double stitch here because I'm basically starting a new stitch. And then I will go through again and then go through the other side. And it's going to cup together like it did in the beginning. Bring them together like so. Not sure if you can see that. Like that and do a double stitch so that it stays together. So we brought that together and then we'll do just what we did before all over again. We'll go down the center here and grab it and then pull all the way to where it grabs it again like that. So we're basically doing that all over again. You, you just keep repeating this step until you have it all the way down the strip. 
So I actually ended up having to cut more strips um, because I realized I wouldn't have enough because I didn't realize it was going to be taking up this much material. So when you flip it over, you kind of see it's forming there, the stitching. I need to perfect my technique, but I'm actually kind of liking how scraggly it looks. So, and then you just keep going from there until it's all done at the end. It's coming along. I actually finished hand sewing all of this trim and there's enough to go all the way around the neckline. However, I don't like how bubbly it is. I feel like it's floating too much around the neckline. So I'm going to take it to the iron and actually press it down so that it looks like it's more one with the dress rather than a bunch of balloons floating on top. So the important part is to make sure there's plenty of steam in your iron. I have not done this yet, but this is a thicker material and there's a lot of layers in there. So I'm basically just make sure it's evenly pressed down because we want to catch it in its spot rather than doing this kind of stuff. We just want to go down like that. There we go. So here is the difference between the two. It's really a matter of preference. I wouldn't say there's a right or wrong. I just like to press my stuff out. You'll notice that in all my videos. From a lower perspective, this is raised and this is more flat. And this next part, I'll be pinning it all the way around the neckline because I think I may have to hand stitch it down, but I will pin it first and then we'll work from there. And on the inside, I will pin that in place as well because I'll hand stitch that down. And then when it closes, it looks like it's continuing itself onto the hand stitching part. So what I plan on doing is I will basically just slip stitch it all around the edges. It's going to be a lot of work, but it's worth the overall finished look. Starting on this back part, I'll start from the back and it's basically just a slip stitch. Stitch a few stitches in place. So what's going on here is once I come back up, I'm going down and grabbing the edge of the trim like that and pulling it through. So when we come around to the front, I'm basically just continuing to the front and do the same exact thing and we'll continue until it is done. is it with the trim. So I hand stitched it on this side and that side all the way around the neckline. So it is done. That is the finished bodice and actually the finished dress. I don't have an apron on, but it is finished. And that is it, my friends. That is the dirndl completely finished. I might make another one in the future, but in between there, I have a few other projects in mind. So hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you next time.